Mama D's. Today I will be making a homemade coffee creamer because anyone who knows me knows I love my coffee. Before we get started, please subscribe, turn on notifications, and like this video. So to begin your own homemade coffee creamer, you start with a pre-used coffee creamer container that's been washed in hot soapy water and air dried for several days. Um, this will give the nice container to actually mix whatever concoction you come up with. Today, I am going to use vanilla, a can of sweetened condensed milk, half and half, and I like full fat, forget the fat-free stuff. You can choose that if you want. And one tablespoon of brown sugar, it makes everything better. And I like this because it avoids all the chemicals and things because now we have five ingredients and that's it, nothing else. First, we're going to go ahead and add half and half to the third bottom line. Just to give us a base for the creamer. The nice thing about this is you can use almond milk, rice milk, or whatever milk you like. And once you make your creamer, your expiration date is whatever is on your creamer base. So this one is um, end of March. And I've got until the end of March now to use this creamer up. Now I'm going to add some vanilla extract, as much as you would like, about a teaspoon. Now goes one tablespoon of brown sugar. It's a little tricky to get out of here, so you've got to kind of maneuver it a little bit. Now we're going to add the can of sweetened condensed uh, milk into this creamer. This is my favorite part. I can literally eat this right out of the can, but I'm not going to today. I'll be proper. It is delicious. Final touch of a half and half to top it off. We'll leave a little bit of air on the top just to allow us to blend this together. A little bit more. There we go. And then the final touch and the pizzazz is shake, shake, shake. Shake your creamer. Yes, yeah, shake, shake, shake. Our homemade vanilla brown sugar creamer. I've got a nice cup of hot coffee. You can of course use this in cold coffee too. I'm going to go ahead and pour the creamer to my liking. And stir and enjoy. And you can store your homemade coffee creamer in your fridge. Again up to the expiration date on that half and half almond milk or rice milk expiration date. Enjoy!